Hey guys, today we're doing an unboxing. I actually went to fingercomber.com and purchased $500 worth of wigs. I was looking for natural looking wigs. I thought it would be fun to unbox them here and see if they are actually worth the price. So this is the big box that they sent all the wigs are inside. This is so cute. They're all individually wrapped in their own little boxes. How cute is that? Good presentation, finger comber. Look at that. What? Why do I have... Did I order two? Did I order two of the same wig? Cause I will be low bad. Okay, where's my receipt? Here we go. All right. I'll be so pissed if I ordered two of the same wig. Seriously? No. I did. I did. Ugh, okay. Well, my sister will get a wig if these are cute. I think, ooh, she'll be really excited about that. So the wigs that I bought are the Havana Fro, the kinky roller set wig, so freaking cute. Look at this. And then apparently I ordered two of the kinky curl out. No wonder it went to $500. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know why I didn't double check. I think I ordered it late at night. Anyway, I believe that this company is black owned if anyone is interested, but let's just get into the wigs. I have my hair all twisted back in preparation for the wig. I hope that it's tight enough. I don't know. First one we're going to do is a kinky curl out wig. Oh, it looks really small. Why are these so small? What the frig, dude? The curl pattern's really pretty. If you can see, it's kind of an afro y texture, but the ends are kind of nice and curled beautiful look at that yeah this is not gonna fit on my head 20 minutes later so i definitely think that these are supposed to be half wigs i'm not sure but i had to go off camera i took off my coat i got real dirty got in there did some trimming hacked the hell up out of this wig because it was not fitting on my head like I have a big head anyway, but like this thing was extremely tiny. So I'm wondering if these are supposed to be half wigs. Either way, I, I wore it half on my head because I couldn't get it all the way over. Um, but I think if I maybe twisted my hair a little bit tighter, I might have a little bit more space. But this is still cute. Like with my hair twisted back, it kind of just looks like I like pulled my hair and bobby pinned it on the side. This looks like my hair and it's so light. Ooh, girl, this is so cute. Uh, yeah, I love this. I love this. I would totally wear this. Beautiful hair. Isn't that beautiful? This looks like my hair. She's cute. She cute. She cute. Gorgeous. Let me show you the back. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to play with this one a little bit more, but this is really cute. Okay. Ooh, I'm not a fan of these little, I'm not a fan of these little comb things. I feel like they're pulling out my natural hair. Yeah, not a fan of this at all. All right, the next one I'm going to try is the Kinky Roller Set. Oh my God. <laughs> Tell me why this unit comes with rollers. What is it, the Lady Gaga wig? But that also makes me a little nervous. Like once I take the rollers out, is that like it? Am I gonna get like one style out of this? Like maybe I should roll it up after every time I use it. Okay, let's try it on. <laughs> okay, so you can see how these wigs are not fitting over my head at all, but it's fine. I'm gonna take out the rollers and see what we have. Good thing about this wig is that you get some free rollers with it. <laughs> this is oddly satisfying, <laughs> taking out rollers when I know I didn't set them. Ooh, I feel like I'm cheating over here. Right now, I'm not really styling them. I'm just kind of plopping them on my head and <laughs> testing it out. Okay, so, mm-hmm, that's kind of a fail. Let's see if I can move this a little bit closer. So the hair definitely looks like it could be my natural hair. Obviously, I need to let the front of my hair out, but um, there's definitely significantly less hair on this unit than the other one. It's pretty, it smells really good. It's a little bit thin, but I'm gonna try to actually style this because this is obviously not working. I'm kind of disappointed in this wig because it doesn't look anything like the picture. Look how full her hair looks in that picture. Now granted, she probably has her hair out in the front, but there's like no hair on this wig. It's so thin. Yeah, I'm not happy with this one. I'm still gonna try and style it, but it just, it doesn't look like the photo. 
So the last unit I picked up was the Havana Fro. And this is kind of like a long stretched out afro. I did cut off the straps again, just like on the other two. This strap actually came broken, it was detached, so it's a good thing that I don't need them, otherwise I would be really pissed. Um, but just a heads up on that. This one feels smaller than the other two. Ugh, they keep getting smaller and smaller, what the heck? This is not the best hairstyle to be trying on wigs with. This sucks, my hair is way too big right now. And anyway, okay, if I had this on perfectly, this is what it would look like. And this is a lot of hair, like, <laughs> guys, guys, look at this hair. This is stupid. Like, why is there so much hair here? No, this is too much hair. What is going on? Let me put my bigger mirror up here. I can see. What in the hell? No. I mean, this would be really cute for like a photo shoot. But if I'm trying to really... I don't know, I guess. And I have big hair and I think that this is a lot, so. I don't know. It's cute, it's just silly. It's <laughs> so on the roller set wig, we had the issue of not enough hair. On this wig, we have the issue of too much hair. What in the world? I mean, if my own hair was tapered and I blew it out, it would probably look like this. But it's just the fact that I know it's a wig, it's just kind of like, this is too much. This is too much. I mean, it's cute. I just, I would never feel comfortable walking outside with this wig on. It would be really cute for like a photo shoot or just having fun or whatever. Yeah. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I mean, it's a really cute wig. It's very, it's very cute. It's just a lot. I would do this with my own hair. I just feel like doing it with a wig is too much. Like, if it's your own hair, it's like, what? This is my hair. This is how it goes. This is bomb. But if you're wearing, like, fake hair and it's this big, it's just kind of, like, screaming for attention. You know? I don't know. Maybe it'd be cute to an event or a photo shoot or something. But besides that, too much. I think it's safe to say that my favorite wig out of all of them is the kinky curl out wig. I think it's so cute. The perfect amount of hair, not too little, not too much. The quality of the hair on these wigs are really nice. It's not heavy or anything like that, it's really light. I also picked up some wig bags, so I'll just show you those too. How cute are these? Oh, you know what? They had different prints online. I thought they were gonna send me like three different prints, whatever. So these are the bags, you just uh, fold the wig up and you can store it inside. And these are actually really well made. They look like they might be hand sewn. They have a little ribbon here. It looks like you could probably put more than one wig in a bag. So maybe I didn't need three, but I got three anyway. Final thoughts, finger comber. I wouldn't say that it's consistent. Um, I really do wish that all the wigs had the same amount of hair. This amount of hair on this kinky curl out wig is really, it's perfect. It's really cute and it's not over the top and it looks realistic. I just wish that they had added more hair to the rollout unit and less hair on the fro. So right, that's pretty much it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It's just a little random different video. I figured I would open it for you guys on camera. Do some styling videos with these because I like it. I'll probably just do it with this one because I don't know about the other two. This one's my favorite. Oh, the curls, they're so cute. And yeah, I hope that this really quick first impression type of unboxing review, I don't know what you would call this, I hope that it helped, <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, it's a couple days later, but I had to come back because I've been playing with these wigs a little bit, and I noticed some things that I didn't notice the very first time I unboxed them, and I feel like they're a little bit important if you're know if you planning on buying these wigs or whatever, just so that you have all the information prior to making this purchase. I noticed some things that I really don't like about it, mainly the construction of this wig. So I'm wearing it down the middle part I, there's no part in this wig but you know what I mean it's like the middle of the wig and I noticed that you can see the tracks from the wefts of hair that are sewn into this wig if I wear it down the middle I'm inside right now and it's slightly noticeable I don't know what it's gonna look like if I go outside like this 
So it's a little bit unnerving, obviously, because you don't want your tracks showing. That's a little bit not cute. And then also I noticed that there's like these little tiny pieces of hair like sticking up out of the wig in certain places and I have no idea where that's coming from. So can you guys see that little like alfalfa sprout coming out? It's like all over and yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with this wig. It kind of sucks. I love everything else about this wig, but I mean, I can't be walking outside with tracks showing, and that's a little problematic. Now, I'm obviously not like a wig connoisseur. I don't know if this is like normal. If this is standard for wigs to like have your tracks and stuff showing here, you guys let me know. Something in my intuition is telling me that's probably not right. <laughs> the same thing goes for the roller set wigs. Got wefts showing. This Havana, you'd be good with this wig. If you know, if you're looking to get this wig, you don't, you can't see any wefts with this because the hair is so big. So that's a plus. I did try to do a little bit of research the past couple of days into other people who have reviewed this wig just to see if they mentioned anything about the tracks. And nobody, as far as I could see, mentioned anything about the tracks. I did notice that there was one video that was posted in 2015 or 16 that reviewed the wig and mentioned that these are all handmade and that they take a while to get to you. Now, I ordered the rush shipping on these, which is $25 extra. Number one, I don't know if these are still handmade. And number two, I don't know if maybe because they were rushing, they didn't do a very good job. I don't know what the deal is here, but I figured I would just mention that because I, I don't know. It could be one of the reasons. Yeah, but nobody in their reviews mentioned anything about the track showing, so I don't know if this is standard or maybe they just changed the way that they make these wigs now. I did notice that the hair is a lot shorter now than it was in a lot of other people's videos, though. A lot of other people had a lot longer hair. Or maybe my head's just bigger. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just trying to give you guys the full breakdown before you, you know, invest in these wigs. I am gonna wear this today. Wish me luck. But yeah, I just wanted to give you all the information so you can make an informed decision. I look forward to reading your comments below and I'll see you in the next one.